Boo! What's inside the new BAM Horror subscription box? Didn't mean to startle you there, but there's definitely going to be a lot more frights inside as we open up the newest BAM Horror Box. I know, I know, we just had a look at the BAM Horror Box not too long ago, and we're going to be doing it again. I feel now we're starting to play catch-up with some of the subscription boxes that are trickling through the Postal Service, and that's why we're having a look at the BAM Box yet again. If you like the idea of getting autographs, if you like the idea of getting memorabilia and prop replicas, perhaps you may want to linger your way down to the video description and subscribe to the BAM Horror Box or the BAM Pop Culture Box, the one that we had just had a look at. But anyway, Slice It BAM Box is the premier subscription box in the market that provides you autographs and movie replicas. We're going to go ahead and get this opened up and check out the contents going on inside. I guess in order to do that, I'm probably going to have to cut open this tape that's on the front. It's the ultimate collector's experience. As I said, BAM Box every single month delivers collectibles, autographs, and more. I'm going to grab my knife and make quick haste, quick haste of that knife of the tape that's on the front of the box. And through that, I think I've cut a little bit of cardboard. Nonetheless, though, opening up the contents in front of us we're presented with you are holding the original autograph subscription box hey wait a minute i think i just said that or maybe i said premiere uh, we have a uh, little bit of paper some bam paper we don't need that we can make short work of that and the first thing we're going to look at is this i don't know what specifically this is but we'll know soon enough let's open it up i wonder if it's a flag could be an apron could be a blanket could be a poncho Oh, I haven't had a poncho in the longest of times. Let's see what we got here. I don't know if I'm going to be able to show everything on camera here. Oh, I'm running out of space. I'm running out of space. I'm running out of space. Uh, let's see what this actually is. I see, oh, there's a face. Okay, there's an eye. Opening it up still further still. It is a diamond. It is a diamond. No, it's a pyramid. It's a pyramid with an eye on the top, and it looks to be like a giant eight ball. I have honestly no idea. Somebody will tell me down below in the comments section. I really was not expecting to require this much recording space in order to open this up. Let's see if I can fold this back up without making too much, too much of a mess. Now I'm curious is exactly what that was. It basically was, like I said, just a big giant, almost looked like an eight ball with an eye and a and a pyramid. Anybody? Anybody? I'm throwing I, I'm throwing help out here to the to the winds, hoping that somebody's going to scoop it up. We'll know soon enough because I'm going to check the insert card. But of course, before we do that, let's look at some of the other things that we got inside. Oh, get a fancy at that! The Bam Horror Box Volume Five, bo uh, Volume Five Box Five, has a very scary looking Pennywise. I told you there was going to be a lot more frights inside than my starting boo. On the back, it's got the pin has a limited release. It also says this fan art pin has been created exclusively for Bambox and is inspired by the art's love of the fandom. There are a limited number of pins created. Once these pins have been made, they are vaulted and never made again. So you may want to hold on to this. You never know, it may be worth something down the road. Uh, we also have ourselves an insert card where I can scratch. I can match three and win a, uh, something in a giveaway. Match three of the same symbols and win that giveaway. Scratch an instant winner symbol and win instantly. Well, you know what? I know normally I always leave this till the last. I'm going to just take my knife because it seems to work so well with the Bam Pop Culture Box. I'm going to scratch this off. Let's check if we have ourselves an instant winner or something at least that I may be able to win down the road. And let's hope for no whammies. Okay, so we got an art print. Scratching box number two. Doe. We didn't get ourselves another thing. A free drop box. Let's just scratch the last one. Even though there is no chance right now of me winning. I'm going to scratch the last one anyways. Because I don't believe in giving up. See a goal straight through. Never retreat, never surrender. Isn't that what they said for that Jean-Claude Van Damme movie? Horror. <laughs> horrible movie no retreat no surrender see what we have in here we have a nice card featuring freddy krueger i like this that's neat and i'm guessing this is probably freddy from freddy versus jason and then i would also be guessing that jason would be going like right here 
Let's look on the back. Congratulations, this is an authentic BAM fan art card featuring a unique sketch from one of our featured artists. This card is part of a set of two and a bigger set of 12. Collect both cards to make this set. As you can see, there's the autograph down below. The card is at a very limited release of 2,500. This one I did get in this box with 130. That's a neat looking uh, Freddy Krueger. I wouldn't mind like a little vinyl of that design. Look at that, that's pretty cool. Uh, we also have, I think a couple of uh, autographs here. The first one is a advert for Rosemary's Baby, which I hate to admit this, I know this is considered a classic by many, but I've never seen Rosemary's Baby. Is it any good? Somebody let me know down below. It has been autographed, and it says from the shocking best-selling novel by Ira Levin, Ira Levin, Mia, Mia Farrow, uh, in a William Castle production, Rosemary's Baby. John Cassavetes, Ruth Gordon, and Sidney Blackmer, directed by Roman Polanski. And then on the back, it's just been indicated. So I guess this is like a, an art print that somebody has designed. And there's the artist's signature down below. On the back, it says, this is a fan art print art from our fan art collection. It is exclusive to Bambox and is hand signed by the artist. It is guaranteed to be authentic. Artist and print title can be verified over at bamauthentic.com using the corresponding box number. Um, that would be something, definitely a, can a candidate, I feel, to frame. I'd frame that and put that maybe perhaps in my living room space. And then we also have ourselves another autograph. Oh, what do we got here? We have an autograph, and I'm guessing it's probably not Chucky. Maybe it is actually the one that, uh, maybe it's the actor, what is it, Andy Barkley. Is, could it be Andy's signature? Oh, I hope that would be the case. Now, this one doesn't have the little insert card, so I'm going to have to look on my phone and find out if that's the case. It has been autographed, though. I can. That's to the fur furthest extent of what I can provide right now for 411. And hopefully I can provide some more 411 in a second. Uh, certificate of Authenticity. Again, the signature on this item was personally witnessed by a representative of BAM. Authentic and is guaranteed to be authentic. This authentication can be verified at bamauthentic.com using the provided serial number down below. I'm pointing at that serial number right now. I think that's the only thing that was left in this box, short of the insert card, the little thing that tells us we basically have to do all the stuff of checking on our phone for the time being until uh, they can resolve things with their printing company to find out exactly the contents. I'm curious as what exactly that is, which now just appears like a deflated, uh, almost like ball, like a beach ball. But let's go ahead and check the phone and find out exactly the stuff that we got inside. Hey, I feel like we were just here. It was because we were just here. We just had a look at the BAM Pop Culture box, and we knew that that one was box number five. Just in case, though, as double-checking certainly is helpful, uh, this also does say box number five. So avoiding at all costs to hit volume five, box six, because that will be a big spoiler, and I don't like to go into spoiler town. I do like, though, that when BAM puts their inserts here, at least they alternate it. They don't put, like, you know, two horror boxes together so you don't hit the wrong one anyways we're gonna we just looked at this one so let's move downstairs to the basement and hit the bam horror volume five box number five now let's see what we got here from one of our favorite horror franchises of the 80s we present alex vincent there you go as andy in child's play look for the incredible uh, drops we have this month including dual signed funko pops including Ed Gale. Now, this would be the autograph down here. I did get a signed Funko Pop Chucky before, but I think it was the autograph of the actor that was inside the suit, and it obviously wasn't the it wasn't Vincent who had signed it. So that's pretty cool. That is an autograph print. I didn't get either one of these. The one that I got was this one right here. But that's pretty good nonetheless though with that we I finally got Andy Barclay's signature. I can add that to my collection of autographs. Of course, we did get the fan art pin, of which was Pennywise. This is from It Chapter 2. The pins are numbered out of 250 and 99. And these were the other versions of it down below there. Oh, and then this was the... Oh, okay, so these were the upgrades as well. There was a signed hat, and then there was a signed... It looks like a hammer. Both of them have been signed. So that's 
that's pretty cool. Those would have been the upgrades. I didn't get the I didn't get the upgrades. Uh, I am certainly most curious about not the fan art prints, even though I haven't seen the movie. At least I know it's from uh, Rosemary's Baby, but I don't know what this one is. This is it says ack ack ack. Now you can take over. Oh, okay, now you can take over the world and proudly display the Mars Attacks flag as you do it. It was from Mars Attacks. I've only think I've seen that movie twice since it first came out. One time in the theater and one time at a friend's house. Years and years, it seems, almost eons ago. So I'm going to use that as my argument as to why I didn't know what that was. Did anybody pinpoint that? By the way, that's what it looked like. Just a little bit smaller. Well, mine was, mine was a little bit bigger. Did anybody know what that flag was? Some of you would say yes, I think of you guys as being fibber faces, but nonetheless. Then also there was the artist select cards. New artist Mark Melton shares a new set of one of our greatest icon horror duels ever. Uh, look for the variant foil card numbered out of only 100, which would have been the foil card down below. I obviously just got the regular card. That's a cool selection of prop replicas. Like I said, you did get the flag from Mars Attacks. And we also did get ourselves an autograph of one Andy Barkley himself, Alex Vincent. I'm going to have to find the frame for that post haste right now. Well, not right now because you guys are watching this video, but like right, right after, after the video. And after producer Tony has left for the day and, and swept up everything, he generally doesn't sweep anything. If you guys are fans of the BAM Horror Box, missed your chance perhaps to get Volume 5, Box Number 5, you still have an opportunity now to subscribe to the BAM Box and you'll be up for grabs for the BAM Box Volume 6. Uh, if you are interested in subscribing and getting prop replicas, autographs, and flags, if you'd like to take over the world, why not? You can click the link down below and it'll take you over to BAM's website. And from there, you can decide whether you want to go BAM Horror Box or BAM Pop Culture Box, or like myself, you can go with both and have both delivered right to your door. The link will be down below in the video description. And while you're down there, consider the idea of hitting that subscribe button down below. Consider the idea of moving next door and turning that bell notification on, and consider the idea of moving on over and keeping your peepers peeled, because certainly there's gonna be a lot of unboxings and various videos coming soon to this channel. As always, guys, thanks for watching, and I'll see you next time.